Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. With this W164, we've got a big issue. So as you can see, the lower screen in the middle LCD is working. But the top one, I need to look from an angle to see all the numbers. You see that uh, Odo 10929, it's very faded and it can only be seen at particular time of the day uh, with angle. So let's take out this cluster and see if we can do something without buying the LCD, which is super expensive, like 100 bucks. So the first thing we need to do is just pull out the steering wheel as much as possible to the uh, back and as low as possible, like that. And then let's grab two screwdrivers like that and we insert in these two slots over here just like that and then all we need to do is just uh, push up on the screens and then pull out the cluster we can use the silver uh, bezel on the screen i cannot do this while holding the phone so with pushing up we release the clip and then we remove it we pull it out once you uh, push those two uh, tabs then the lower side you really need to pull it out but first you need to make sure those two are released so it's it gets released from the bottom and you you see it wobbles kind of but there is one more tab behind it just in the middle that is holding it so tight so you need to really grab it from here and pull it out so i've done that because it's not possible with one hand and as you can see i'll show you what behind it so you see this uh metal tab over here has two springs that's the metal tab in uh, in the middle that I said it won't come out until you really force it out but it won't break don't worry about it you see this is the hole that that metal tab goes in and it's right in the middle to remove this uh, it's a bit of uh, a touching uh, game so you need to push this tab and then release it like that like any other Mercedes-Benz uh, connector so that's easy as well but you cannot see it okay so now we have this cluster out on the table with good lighting condition and then we need to so there are a few clips over here one two three four five and six so we will unclip these clips one by one, we make a gap, we try to, and then it will gradually will come out like that. So all we need to do is crack it open very gently without breaking any of the tabs, just holding in place. And as you can see, this side is done. Now moving to the other side, which we will have to uh, that's happening. And then we push on these as well. There are two smaller clips. Okay, so as you can see, we we put this one aside and now so we're going to be very careful not to damage all the dials okay next we have four clips that is holding this board over here to remove this black plastic we need to push back on this tab over here to release this one and there is another one over here so this side is released and that's it so there are only four clips also, one note, I'm not trying not to touch the board at all because I might have uh, static electricity. So I'm not touching it, but I'm going to use uh, uh, gloves, anti-static gloves, first of all. And then we're going to remove these tabs, these four tabs to be able to remove the LCD. Now that I've got gloves from back, we need to unclip these clips and push through the slots but that's 
should be done carefully because on the other side we have got, we have got the dials just need to like that or using a screwdriver gently pull out this frame same from back out and there we go we got the frame out over here now we have access to release the black plastic which locks the harness in place so we push that up and now the harness is removed it can be easily removed like that and then on this side we need to do the same but accessing this black plastic the lock over here it's not gonna be easy but what we need to do first over here I want to check if this harness is in properly or not what I want to do is like remove it and put it back again test it and if it fails okay so now so now the harness is removed but what am I gonna do without messing with it too much I'm going to clean up this both connectors put it back and then I'll test it out to see if there is anything if anything has changed otherwise I'll go ahead and replace the LCD so here I'm using some electrical contact cleaner to clean the contacts on the harness and better to say harnesses and just like that I'm pretty sure it's now clean and I'll go ahead and put back All I need to do is push back on that black plastic lock. And when it's locked, I'll go ahead and do the same thing. On this side. Making sure I can barely see the white side of the uh, harness and then when I'm sure I push back on the lock and that's how it should be okay so I'm ready to go ahead and test this on my vehicle without putting anything back if the LCD came back working I put everything together if not I'll go and buy a replacement LCD So it seems like it it's still the same issue. I still can't see some to somehow the LCD 100927 from the side but still it's dim and it's not working properly. So at this point I am pretty sure that the LCD is gone. Okay it's few days later and I've got the LCD from eBay and I'm going to replace it right now. Let's take the LCD off again and then of course it's easy. I've got the back plastic uh, cover in place. This is not going to mm, cause any issue. It's actually much easier, makes it easier because uh, you can easily uh, lay this on the table, no problem at all. So this side it's now released as you can see over here. And on the other side and all we need to do is lift it from the bottom and then so it's removed and 
now let's install back the back plastic let's push on the tab the plastic tab is all the way in and this is too easy if, if it's done from the top and then all we need to do and then lock in place and we should be good take off the cover the protection from it and then when you make sure that frame is in all the way in just need to make sure the tabs are out so they're not coming out at all Just like that. And when you're happy that you have done enough cleaning, let's put it back. That should be easy. Let's check every it's in. All the way in and all the way in and that should be it and here is the final result very nice and very happy look at this it's beautiful finally got the top section working as well which is great okay guys that was a very easy a bit delicate but very satisfying project to do that took like two hours to complete the whole project the instrument cluster is much cleaner now and I'm very happy about the results okay guys thanks so much for watching liking subscribing have a great day bye let's go